Hello there, everybody. This is the Computer Crusader. And today, we got another unboxing for you. These are the Razer Black Shark V2X wired headphones. Oh, snap. That's some real cool product stuff right there. Some real cool audio. Oh, snap. Sorry if you can see the camera in the background. But, uh, yeah. These are wired headphones by Razer once again. So, you know, gotta keep the branding up a little bit. Alright, the top part. Now, this box is very bland compared to the other uh, stuff right there. But, uh, yeah, you would have your product number in the back, Razer where it comes from so yeah that's pretty much it so far let's go ahead and open it up for you guys right now all right in the box you got some more uh, literature a little pamphlet unlock your headphones full potential now so pretty much this is the code you use to activate the sound technology that it uses, which is called 7.1 Surround Sound. Very cool. Now, looks like we got this. Oh, hold on. Here's some more literature. I thought that was actually a box right there. So this is pretty much saying what? Okay, it gives you like a diagram of the headset, how to use it. Now, as far as I know, this does come with a cardioid microphone that is fixed. It is a fix. It's called Razer HyperClear. We're going to go over some of the, uh, the specs and stuff in a little bit on when we get to the software on, and on the computer. But, uh, yeah, it looks like you got a mic splitter. Or, or it looks like you can use a mic splitter. But, uh, yeah, so this is 3.5 millimeter. Now, there is a more advanced version of this just called the Black Shark V2 which is a little bit more expensive and that uses USB with its own sound card and it's supposed to be more quality or I guess an even more advanced version of this but both of them are technically good price this one I got on sale for $42 on Amazon this is the budget version so yeah alright now let's get to the actual stuff right here Looks like here's the headset right here. Alright, comes in this uh, styrofoam. Very nice, very high quality right here. And, uh, is that all that's in the box? Is that all that's in the... Okay. I guess that is all that's in the box, so... We're gonna go ahead and put this over here. Now let's go ahead and open this up. Oh snap! Well, would you look at that? Some silica gel. Do not eat this. Oh snap, look at these. I can already feel the quality from these. Looks like here's your... Oh snap. It looks like here is the uh, fixed cardioid microphone right here, hyperclear. Let's uh, unwrap that and see what it looks like. Okay, there it is right there. All right, pretty cool, pretty cool. Now let's unwrap this. Now this looks like it's a rubber cable, but it's a three point, yeah, again, 3.5 millimeter we got right here. Also, there is an extensible uh, mic splitter right here, which is cool. That would work great for my computer. You would plug in uh, one into the microphone port and one into the speaker audio port. So very cool, very nice. And then, of course, this comes out. And you can use it for your phone, too. Uh, but yeah. 
So far it's pretty cool. Looks like it's all rubber, green rubber. Take that. Now, looks like these are pull-outs like that. So yeah, pretty cool. You get your uh, microphone. Oh, come on, I hope you can see this. Come on now. Here's your microphone mute right there. And here's your gain or volume button right here. I think this way is actually to turn it down. Clockwise is down, but like this, counterclockwise is higher. So yeah, now these are plush leatherette memory foam cloth. We have a 50 millimeter drivers in here too. Cloth heads, uh, cloth headset. It says razor on the top. Now this is much more subtle than the, uh, uh, the keyboard I unboxed last week. But, uh, yeah, this is very cool, very nice. So, uh, yeah, let's, without further ado, let's go move to the computer and put this on. Well, actually, hold on. I almost forgot. This does come with a, looks like a carrying case for it. So, yeah, that's nice, too. So if you're on the go, just put this in. All right. So let's actually go move to the computer right now. And let's check out how that software works. All right, everybody. So now we are here on the computer. And we are looking at the official website covering the Razer Black Shark V2X. It's called a multi-platform wired esports headset which is very interesting very intriguing but uh, i was actually listening to it uh, i actually had it on my head just a couple of seconds ago and took it off a hey, this thing right here where it says advanced passive noise cancellation boy that works really well and I just got it too, so pretty cool. And of course, the Razor's Triforce patented 50 millimeter drivers are what's giving you the sound. And the microphone is a Razor Hyperclear Cardioid mic, perfect for if you want to do your own podcast and all kinds of stuff. But yeah, here's their uh, page for it right here. We got some uh, screenshots. What's going on? Of course, you got this cringy guy right here playing Dota. Of course, he's playing Dota. Right here, we got pretty much a side of that. We got this right here pretty much showing off the headset. Of course, you got that plush pretty much that I just mentioned before. The plush right there. And of course, you got it laying down as well with the green rubber... 3.5 millimeter cable for you guys. Now, if you buy it through Razer, the price is $59.99. Uh, I'll, I'll leave the link down to the Amazon page where I got it down below in the description. I was able to get it for uh, $42. So yeah, pretty cool. Of course, it's got some uh, recommendado, whatever, okay. This is a Discord certified. Razor's talking about it again. Pretty much just showing off what's inside of the Razor Triforce drivers right here. Hyperclear mic. Now they're just showing it off pretty much. So now here's something really cool too. 240 grams this weighs, which is very light. I put it on just a couple uh a couple minutes ago. Hey. I couldn't even feel like it was on my head. Good night. Now here's the real big stuff right here. Cross-platform compatibility with all these other stuff right here, including Linux. So, yeah, you just plug that in. Now, here's the real big part right here. 7.1 simulated surround sound. Come on now. Feel like you're in a movie theater when you got this on. Now this is only available for Windows 10 64-bit simulated. And of course you got these testimonials by all these guys right here. I don't know who they are, but... And now here we go. Now we're comparing the Razer Black Shark V2, which is a little bit more money, 
with the Razer Black Shark V2X, which is what I got. This one right here is removable, the cardioid mic, and it includes a USB sound card right here. The USB sound card. Now it also uses 3.5 millimeter, but it's connected to the sound card for the Black Shark V2. Now this is just the, the rubber 3.5 millimeter cable right here. Now this has got ultra soft flow knit, which is more like regular uh, fabric. And this is the memory foam, but with a plush leatherette, like I showed you in the video earlier. And of course, this has got advanced mic control. This does not have mic control built in. You would have to use your default uh, volume controls on your computer or phone or whatever. Again, 7.1 simulated surround sound compared to a THX spatial audio, which is built in surround sound for the V2. Now this is technically better for audio and surround sound because it's built in. But, I mean, this is like $30 more according to their website, so I don't know if it's really worth Plus, I believe you can upgrade these to THX Spatial, which is uh, intriguing. Something I might have to look into in the future. But uh, yeah, speaking of 7.1, remember the, er the card I showed you earlier with the scratch out sign? What you would do is you would come to this website right here, razor.com slash 71 dash surround dash sound and this is where you uh, register and activate download the 7.1 surround sound software for your uh, for your Razer headset now here's all the red other headsets that are compatible with it right here you got pretty much the whole Kraken lineup and you got this one for the Black Shark and of course this is where you would click to download the software but please note there's a bunch of disclaimers do not use this when you're using a video conferencing software like Zoom, Skype, Microsoft Teams. Just use the regular uh, audio that comes out of it as well. Now, here's pretty much a snapshot of what it would look like. And uh, here's a snapshot of uh, where you would register this product to get to take advantage of Razer's limited two-year warranty on all their products, pretty much. Which is very cool. And, uh, hey, Razor, quick thing. If I end up becoming real big, I wouldn't mind if you decided to sponsor some of my videos or partner with me. If I get really big, hey, that would be very nice, Razor. Your products so far are very good. Last week I got your keyboard. I've been trying it out. I think that's my favorite keyboard so far, Razor. No joke, you don't even have to pay me to say that. It's just super good. Now anyways, back to this right here. 7.1, what you would do is you download this right here. You'd scratch off from the uh, card that you got. You'd scratch off and you'd put in your activation code. And you would activate the feature. Or, excuse me, register it, which is pretty much, yeah. Activating it, yeah. Now it says right here you can upgrade to THX Spatial Audio if you purchase the v V2X. It looks like if you register your product with Razer, you can get up to 50% off an upgrade to the THX Special, which, well, first off, we got to try out the 7.1 surround sound. So real quick, let's go give it a download. All right, so once you are logged in, it will close out for a little bit and put pull this up right here. And I'll show your account. And then here is where you would activate the, the actual surround sound feature. We would just take that uh, activation code that we get from the card and just put it in right here. I'll do that off camera once again so you guys don't have, can't just take my code for free. All right, so once you put in the activation code, this will pull up right here, pretty much telling you how to enable surround sound on your device. So, uh, yeah, what you would do is you would go to your speakers, you would click on the little like speaker icon. In the bottom right for your Windows setup, which I'm not showing it here because this is my second monitor. But, uh, yeah, it'd pretty much be in the bottom right. You would just click on that and, uh, go right up there to where it says speakers 7.1 surround sound. So go ahead, let's click next. Now, it's giving us time to do it right now. 
So uh, right here, it's going to say output device. We have to select it. All right. Once you have uh, selected the device that you want to apply the 7.1 surround sound to, go ahead and click done right here. And it looks like you can change it actually whenever uh, in the future if you decide to. So it wasn't actually a set thing. Now all you would do is you would you have to keep this running in the background. So it does take up CPU space along with my browser too. So that might be causing it. But yeah, it looks like it'll take it up a notch by like 4% CPU usage. So just be careful when you're using this right now. But uh, yeah, all you would do to enable it is you click this. You would go over here and enable. Now it will pick up surround sound in the background. You go ahead and minimize this. Now let's open up our browser and go ahead and watch this video. Hello there everybody. This is the Computer Crusader. And you are watching Season 1, Episode 2 of the Crusader at the Round Table. We got a couple of great stories for you guys t today. First up, we got a Russian hacking group demanding $70 million in ransomware after it attacked we a Miami-based software company. We just plugged it down, so here we go. Company. That should good be good night. right there. What is with all these ransomwares? Goodness now, you won't be able to hear how this sounds unless you get this headphones yourself, but yeah. And their new privacy policy. This is a pretty cool video right here. This guy knows what he's talking about. Go ahead and give him a like on this video. And of course, by the way, but if you enjoy this content, give me a like on this video right here. Greatly appreciated. So yeah, that's how it sounds. Let's actually try it with the surround sound off real quick. See how well that sounds. Violation of the GNU oh my. Yeah, it really. It cuts off. And number three, makes it seem like it's sounding from a single source. It actually does sound very good. It's about but, uh. German scientist built a high resolution microscope. There you go, right entirely here. From okay. Bricks. Good lord. I need to get me one of them. Alright. This podcast is or, uh, available. Tim. But for right now, it looks pretty good. So, yeah, that's how that works. Let's actually give the mic test a try. Be right back. All right, guys. Looks like I am trying the default microphone that comes attached to the Black Shark V2X. I just want you guys to see how it sounds so you can be the judge yourselves on if it's a really good microphone and if it picks up real well. So. Let's actually go back to the road right now. Alright, guys, it looks like that's that for the actual, uh, the actual Razer Black Shark V2X wired gaming headset. Sounds very good. Very good sound quality, passive noise cancellation. All nine yards, so, uh, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed once again. Also, check me out on my other platforms. We got YouTube, Spotify, and uh, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, for the, the Crusader at the Roundtable podcast episodes. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed once again, and uh, have a great day. Goodbye.